Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Gendro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is the export and the import feature that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So the idea of this export and import is to basically export or import the files that are linked to some objects in Machine Expert. So in case we want to instead of saving the complete project, we just save the POUs or GPLs that we want, or trace, and then we can share that with another colleague and then they can import it or use it in different projects instead of just copy and paste in two different instances of the same project, the same application. So, uh, if you go over here, doo -doo -doo -doo, why it doesn't show, just bear with me. I don't know what happened with the folder, just, I think um, ba, ba, ba. Windows related, just bear with me. Just need to enter in the presentation once again. Okay, perfect, good. So, what I was saying is that um, the idea of this export import is to export elements from the machine expert. And one case could be, for example, to export. Let me just uh, hide myself and put this to pen. For example, I have one application made in Machine Expert, and then I want to share only with another colleague, for example, a visualization and a trace. Instead of sending the complete project, what I can do is to send only these two files. That's why we can use the export. The export we create a export file okay that can be imported in another application or in the same application so in this case you can see this application has one gbl they have one three gbls and three POUs, and this one has different elements but it doesn't matter because i just going to export only this part into the other project okay so that's basically the idea exporting things and you have two ways of exporting uh, using the export or you can also export an import file in XML if I'm not wrong let's double check that okay but you also have that possibility so the process is um, very simple this this one is over here PLC open XML so we just need to go to project select export and then select what we want to export basically and then save it once you save it under the name that you want, it creates a file. This one, and you can see it, this one, okay, with the extension export and can be used in another project. So, the, in the other laptop, the other way, now we need to import. We just need to select import, select the file that we have exported, and then select what we want to import, and then select OK. So, Simple as that. Select. So what we're going to do is to open one of the project, select the option sport, and then do the other way around. You also, if you want, you can try it using the PLC open XML. So far, I never use it because for my projects only with export is going to be fine. But um, I believe the way how it is exported with the syntax allow you to use probably in different code. So you can try it so let's go to the machine expert okay so in this case i have um different species over here so what i'm going to do for example i'm going to select these uh these structures okay and this one and this okay so i'm going to support this these options over here so what we need to do okay is to let me just connect or be ready for this one we just need to go project export okay you can see there is all of them over here there was no need to select the m 1 so i'm going to for this one and then i'm going to use the structure this one and and this okay so uh, yeah, 
that's it. So I'm going to use those um, objects for machine expert and then going to export it. So training export uh training uh, bum, 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 and two by one save and there we go so i saved the elements from the m2 by one that i selected and i wanted to use now on this m262 in theory i should copy and paste okay but i'm going to show you how it should be so project import uh pa, 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 pa. we have different things over here just let me check <laughs> okay so i'm in the folder so i'm going to open the export file over here and you can see that it only show me the elements that i want okay that i have no the elements that i want not the elements that i have exported before and now i'm going to select what i want so I'm going to select all of them because I want it. Okay. And it's going to be linked to the application that is open right now. So the import has been successfully. And there we go. So I have the two structure and the GBL already here. Okay. So this is how it works for the um, export and import. Okay. So let's have a quick look. Um, let's just go here, desktop, just to find the things easily. So, uh, this is the file that I have exported. So, let's open it and see what we got. So, you got all this data. Okay. Uh, this is what is exported. So, let's try to compare this with the other one, with the XML. Uh, just to see how it works. Um, I don't have any experience with this one yet. Um, da -da -dum. So I'm going to select this and this and the same GBL da -da -dum. training. Just to have the same training XML. So if I go over here, should have the training XML edit with this. You can see that the syntax is like the XML file extension. Um, so you are familiar with XML. It's going to be much easier to identify what I have and everything over here. Okay. Um, so the same way would be to import it in here. So this is a great tool that it is good for you to have it because it allows you to easily explore and then import the projects. What I usually do is to create some POUs and export it just to have it to easily share with another colleagues or customer. So this is for the export and import in EcoStructure Machine Expert. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.